Neurologic emergencies are one of the most common reasons for emergency medical services to be called. Among those calls, about 5 to 10 percent of all EMS runs are for patients experiencing a seizure. Prolonged seizures that don't stop by themselves are quite dangerous. Uh, about 55,000 deaths uh, per year in the United States are attributed to status epilepticus, to seizures that don't stop by themselves. To study these and other neurologic emergencies and the best ways to treat them, the National Institutes of Health created the NET, Neurologic Emergency Treatment Trials Network. The NET studies are coordinated by the University of Michigan with participation from hospitals and emergency medicine providers across the country. Neurological emergencies is a huge problem in the U.S. and, and worldwide, actually, and about every two minutes, uh, somebody in the U.S. dies from a neurological emergency. The latest NET study findings published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine looked specifically at emergency treatment for prolonged seizure. The University of Michigan is the clinical coordinating center for a multi-center clinical trial that we call RAMPART, which is the Rapid Anticonvulsant Medication Prior to Arrival trial. RAMPART was a study to look at the use of intramuscular injections rather than IV injections to stop seizures in patients who were having seizures that wouldn't stop by themselves when treated by paramedics. The purpose was to see if the IM shots were as safe and effective as the IV injections, but what was really exciting is that we found out that the IM shots were not only as effective, they were actually a little bit better at stopping seizures prior to arrival in the emergency department. It also showed that patients who got the intramuscular medication were more likely to be well enough to be discharged from the emergency department rather than admitted to the hospital than patients that got the intravenous medication. What would happen is paramedics arrive on the scene of a patient who's seizing. They would assess the patient by their local protocols. If the patient was eligible for the study, they would take out a special study box, open it, and the box would contain both an IM auto-injector, which is a rapid way of delivering medication intramuscularly, and an IV syringe. They would give the IM auto-injector and then start an IV. In each case, patients got active medication for their seizures. In half the patients, the active medication was in the IM auto-injector. In the other half the cases, the active medicine was in the IV syringe. Neither the paramedic nor the patient would know which of the two syringes had the active medication. The implications of this for paramedic practice are pretty significant. This is clearly, I think, an evolution in the treatment of seizures by paramedics. It's not revolutionary, but it's a newer, better way of doing things that uh, I think will be adopted widespread across the country.